A defrocked Catholic priest who served time for sexually molesting children is now back in jail, this time facing a felony DUI case. 75-year-old Stephen Keasley is charged with hitting the victim in the community of Rossmore in Walnut Creek. Crown Force Teresa Stasio is there with more on this story. Teresa. Well, Ken and Pam, we are here in Rossmore, right in front of the intersection where this terrible tragedy struck. And we were talking to residents today who say that they are heartbroken as well as traumatized about the facts of this case. Investigators are calling this crash in Rossmore a felony DUI accident. They say 75 year old Stephen Keasley's car jumped the curb and struck Curtis Gunn and his wife Laura Lynn as they walked on the sidewalk back from a trivia game night at the local rec facility. 64 year old Curtis died at the scene. Laura Lynn was taken to the hospital for minor injuries. My heart was just broken. It's just a tragedy. It's, it's very sad. Very sad that the man lost his life and feels sorry for his wife. And it was totally unnecessary. On Wednesday, Rossmore residents talked about the tragedy, looking at the markings still visible where investigators mapped out the crime scene. We just walked by the spot where there's, I think, you know, leftovers from the flares, and it just just hit me, you know, because I haven't been out walking uh, since since the news. So, um, yeah, I'm just very, very sad. Also on Wednesday, the Contra Costa DA's office charged Kiesel with manslaughter while driving under the influence, as well as special allegations for prior felonies. Keesley, shown here, is a defrocked Catholic priest who served time for molesting several children when he was at parishes in Fremont and Pinole. He moved to Rossmore back in 2010. I spoke to Kathy Stonebreaker, who says Keasley sexually abused her when she was a little girl. They had just been with this, this devil of a man, I call him, um, at, a, at the clubhouse where they reside, playing games with them. She had never met him. And then her and her husband are going back to the complex, and here comes Keasley driving intoxicated what was he doing what a horrible horrible situation this has turned out to be he has broken so many hearts once again Keasley remains in custody of Martinez. He is set for his arraignment on that felony manslaughter charge on Thursday afternoon. Reporting live here in Rossmore, Teresa Stasio, back to you guys. All right, Teresa.